Hello, hello. Oh, come on, bloody thing. Oh, yes. Game capture, I totally told you to go to Mass Effect 2, just so that you can then instead go to Mass Effect uh, Launcher instead. Silly little bean. But anyways, hello everybody. I am Neon Icy Wings. Oh, this one actually marks achievements. I probably should have looked at all the achievements I got in the last game. But as my word just said, we're going to be going through Mass Effect 2. Maybe not all that long, but we are going to, at the very least, begin. I do not want HDR. It does weird things with my monitors and sometimes hurts my eyes. on properly. Go to sound, because it'll probably be like, I usually don't know where subtitles will be placed. Squad power usage. Yes. One enabled squad members automatically use their powers. Auto save. Sure. Auto level up off. Normal difficulty. Yes, yes. But, uh, since this is nice recording, I will give them a, a quick recapture of what happened. Not too long ago for me, but last time, for the recording purposes. Well, last time, we finished up Mass Effect 1. We went and beat up Sovereign. We talked down our boy Saren, but uh, even though he killed himself, uh, Sovereign took over his body. We saved the Council. Captain Anderson should be the U.S. Ambassador to the uh, Council now. I just didn't trust Udina. He felt a little bit too ladder climby. And also, I don't think Captain Anderson was wrong once throughout anything. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, we learned that the Reapers were the result of. Uh, well, we don't know what they were the result of, but we understand that the Reapers created the technology everything is based off of. So the Protheans rose using the Reaper technology, and uh, then were wiped out by the Reapers because the Citadel, which was controlled by the Keepers, brought all the Reapers from dark space to reap the and sow, because we still don't understand the Reapers. And uh, we ended being a Paragon with lots of Paragon points and max charm. So that was interesting. I had my boy Garrus and my girl Tally there, and uh, I tried to do as many uh, side quests as possible. I think I might have done them all. I might have missed one or two, but I uh, did as many as I could, and I tried to make as many decisions that would benefit me in the future, because I was a goody-goody paragon, but let's go ahead and start. Import Mass Effect 1, level 55. Oh yeah, because... That's kind of weird. They made a new level up system, which was 1 to 30 for the Legendary Edition, but then kept the last one. But hey, I was only five levels off from max level, so hey. State of the art weapons use thermal clips to prevent overheating. Clips are universally designed, so. Oh yeah, I remember reading this. They changed things up now. And uh, instead of having infinite ammo and you just exhaust the heat, there's ammo now. I'm not, I wonder how that's going to be. Neon Shepard, rank 55. I was an infiltrator. Paragon, Commander Shepard followed the Paragon path. Status of Rex. Erd not Rex survived the mission of Vermeer. Ashley Williams was killed on Vermeer. The Council was saved by Commander Shepard during the attack on the Citadel. Commander Shepard recommended Captain Anderson for the seat on the Council. When you put it like that, it f feels like there aren't that many major decisions uh, to make in Mass Effect. <laughs> well, I wonder what things, the state of things will be now. Where, will we, where we will be. Is that a son? Oh, I think you're the shadow broker from Osmos pop cultural Osmosis. Right. More than we could have hoped for. 
Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. Yeah. And still, it's not enough. Darn. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. Geth is bad. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. Yeah, but we don't know how to deal and with them yet. It's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Cerberus is a bunch of assholes. Humanity has accomplished. But Even if everything we accomplished. Oh yeah, torturing uh, Marines, killing Kohaku. But he's just I loved man. him. If we lose Shepard, you were trying to bring back the Rachni, and you were using Thorian spores. Then see to it that we don't lose him. All right, he has creepy eyes. Already, the graphics look 10 million times better. One month after the Vesain get the tech on the Citadel, the Galactic Community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Council and earn humanity membership in the prestige group. Now the Council is forced to respond to, to the evidence of Reapers and Emirates of Barba. 50 million five, 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 After return, to quell the rumors, the Council sent Commander Shepard down to Normandy to wipe out the last buckets of Gaff resistance, and I couldn't read. Damn it. I couldn't read out loud at the very least. But yeah, I don't trust Cerberus all that much. Cerberus are just assholes from the last game Disengaging perspective. Hey, Dr. Chuck was. Board is green. We are running silent. Captain Anderson? No, that's not Captain We're Anderson. Kind of looks like him. Four days searching up Hello, and down Presley. This sector, and I hope you don't die. Found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Nice music callback. Vessel. Callback, hmm. quote, quote. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Evasive maneuvers. We're gonna get blasted, aren't we? Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! What the hell is that? I repeat that Presley, no! Presley! Uh, Unnamed inside, no! Multiple hole breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Joker, don't you die! They're just gonna nuke the Normandy? Caden, you better live. Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Probably not. They'll be here. The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon the ship. Take him with you. Either. There's no time to argue. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttle. I'll take care of Joker. Commander! Kate, go. Now. Aye, aye. I'm not leaving anyone behind. Also, this is not my armor from the last game. Everybody in! Go! 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 Dr. Truck was. That escape shuttle's gonna blow up, isn't it? Never mind, Caden's in there, so it's not gonna... If they wanted to be dicks, they could. That's nasty hole breach. Joker better live. He was my boy. Mayday! 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 This is SSV Normandy! It seems like the controls have definitely We're changed from last game. From an unknown enemy. Uh, on, the Normandy is dead. Baby Normandy. 
How are you? Um, there's a pressurized oxygen cabin. That's a good design. So at least the cockpit, if it's still intact compared to everything else, can still go. Joker. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Not in this state. Don't throw your Normandy life away. Lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. You can always fly yeah, another okay. badass ship. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. This is some bullshit. I'd rather see you broken but alive. I'm gonna get blasted apart a little bit, aren't I? Go! I'm too badass to die like this! It would be a ballsy move to be like, haha, the, the character from the last game is dead, make a new one. But still, it hurts to see the Normandy go out like that. I better live. Oh, there's a fucking leak. That's not good. Too many holes. God damn it. Mass Effect 2, that's one hell of a way to open things up. Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of Mac... Would you like to review the story so far? I already know the story so far. I played through that game. Interactive comic. That's interesting. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. So now there's... We can rebuild him. Stronger. And better. I am... Robocop. Save your crew from an overwhelming attack. Lazarus Project. I wish I could, like, edit my imported face a bit, but... I will take my imported face. But at the same time, I kind of want to look and see what... I, I want to take the imported, but I also wanted to see what the... We'll probably be able to come back through, though. Let's see. So yeah, you can. You can come back if you really want to. Wait, uh, there's a lot more uh, presets than before. I'll begin with you. Mostly I want to see if there are any... 
up. It's basically the same, just minorly changed. So, imported face it is. I'm still an infiltrator. Uh, power training, tactical cloak, incinerate AI hacking, weapon training, sniper rifle, heavy pistol, submachine gun, ammo training, cryo and disruptor. Adrenaline rush, concussive shot, assault rifle, shotgun, sniper rifle, heavy pistol, incendiary cryo disruptor, vanguard, biotic charge, pull, sentinel, tech armor, throw, warp, overload, cryoblast, well, a lot of things. I am still going to go infiltrator. I'm still an earthborn war hero. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change things. State of weapons, yeah. He's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. <laughs> Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. I want to wake up. Shepard, don't try to move. I will Just try to wake. Still. I want to wake oh. up. Heartbreak's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <laughs> I'm part Prothean, oh, you bastards. It's not working. Another dose now. Heart rate dropping. Staff falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost them. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. I will wake up. You can't put me on ice forever. Look at these scars. This is why you should have woke me up sooner, damn it. I wonder if I'll want to cover fire more. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. All right. Well, yeah, we have ammo to worry about now. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! Keep moving. We need to get to the shuttles. Let me through. They wouldn't cut off so much. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mechs distracted for long. I can handle all the mechs in the world. Get out of cover. That's creepy. Tactical cloak and disruptor ammo rips through shields and shreds synthetic targets. Hurry, get to the door, run. You're doing fine, Chef. Head to the next room and I'll try to be you. Chef, it's a free beat. I've got them closing in on my position. Progress is slow, but subject shows. I do not like Cerberus, but it looks like it's going to be forced on me.
But what if I could? Still a work in progress. Looks like I'm needed. Who are you? Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new. I just right woke now. up. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. When you die. Nice shot. Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Why are they attacking? What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. Just a few I questions. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Huh. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose. Or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Where is here? This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. What about my crew? Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Ah. Move your mouse over pull over. Ah. I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? My injuries. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. Four billion credits, cutting edge. Cutting edge. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Project what Lazarus. What did you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. My crew. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Now Presley, Presley no. was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Where are they now? Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. I want to find They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. <laughs> oh, that's a nice line. Attack on the station. You know anything about this attack? Speaking of the station. Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Jacob. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally, I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. And finally, Miranda when herself. I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. 
Could you tell what was happening? It didn't sound good. There was good. a gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Let's get out of here. Quickest way to those shuttles. Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? <laughs> Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Who's that? I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Not you. Not you. Why? What the hell? I want to put that. What can I do? Bullshit. We've been spotted. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Wilson, find us another route out of here. Preferably one that. Oh God, they found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Sounds dead. Remember you. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Huh, over the Unity power. So, Unity went from. Bringing Thanks, people Shepard. back from the brink to the Man, basic I healing. Save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't trust any of you yet. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. But you tried to help me. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe nah. she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Impact imminent. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? Depends. This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. <laughs> Why would Cerberus save me? I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then, they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, so, things I changed. guess they figured... The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. And I respect that, Jacob. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. 
He'll explain everything. I promise. Okay, maybe Elusive Man isn't the dude. The elusive Man? Maybe is he, he isn't a Shadow this? Broker. Yeah, that's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. Hmm. Fine, let's go. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. I'm not quite happy working for Cerberus. Oh, I got uh, Paragon points. In the early 2160s, the Elcor are a sip. The Geth are the Hanar, the, Hanar, the Krogan. Krogan, driven from their home system by the Geth nearly three centuries ago. Mo Definitely interesting. Can't even go to equipment. get to the shuttle. Guess I should probably save. New save game. Got a lot of pays of bounty. I couldn't even read that. Maybe I can finally move you? Nope. What the hell? Why can't I move? I can, well, I learned that. Wish I could move that. That is honestly bullshit. I want to select my own things. Designed for specialized ammunition. They've seen us. Still wish I could look at an actual map. Data pad. Test subject has been you get money for doing data pad things now. I want a circle. Get off the wall. All right, full clip. Get out of cover. Through here, we're almost Excuse at me. the dead Miranda. But you were, boy, dead. What the hell are you doing? I was getting to like him. My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Hmm. Now you can't question. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. This your idea of due process? Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. Hmm. Okay, what if happens you say now? So. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Location. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I Doesn't could. Doesn't explain why he was shot in the leg, though. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Other survivors. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. 
Some might have survived. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Lazarus Project. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Why? What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. And destination? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. And if I don't come along? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Fine. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Wonder if I'll be able to go and find the old crew members. Has been two years. And I still have glowing scars. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Hmm. Two years. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? <laughs> had no choice. A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Sovereign. Lomaya, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? It was a hard choice. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There you are were literally raising Rachni. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Talk to the elusive man. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. For Paragon. I want to put things. Squad. Let's see. Do I have any talents? This one seems. I lost so many Paragons. Oh, I want AI hacking. Required incinerate. Our tactical cloak too. It feels like they really undid a few things. Tactical cloak. Incinerate. Exploding flame damages health and armor for everyone nearby. AI hacking. Temporarily hacks a synthetic enemy to attack its former allies. And then it goes to also generates a temporary shield around the hacked target so it can fight more effectively. Improved AI greatly increases area AI. Hmm. Operative. They definitely lowered down the options. I might get more in the future, maybe. But yeesh. Still wish that I could select what goes where. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Customize gear.
I can actually change my colors. Neat. Better have. Okay, I'm willing to reevaluate my opinion on Cerberus enough. Depends, though. I did spend a lot of time destroying Cerberus. Shit. They were messing around with Thorian Creepers and Rachni Bugs. So you have to kind of sell yourselves here. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. And what do we know? You don't know. Well, he probably does. What do we know? And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Hmm. You're not my friend. You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same Thorian side. Creepers, Rachni. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? Oh, and Thresher Maw casualties. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Cerberus. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Abduction. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Stay off the radar. Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Hmm. Alliance aid. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. And why me? You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Maybe I believe you. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. I'm supposed to trust them. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson Love was the music one of my here. best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her. And she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Hmm. Do I have a choice? Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Find enough. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. 
Level five. Experience gained. Journal updated. Journal updated. A ship is waiting for you to Passage Bay to take you to Freedom's Progress. And then more codex. Codex. And Paragon. I have two points to put into things. I'll put one in AI hacking. Oh. So that's how that works. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Hmm. Thanks for resurrecting. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. Hmm. We don't have to be We enemies. have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. Save I people. believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Hmm. Current mission. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any idea what we'll Any thoughts find? on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Hmm. Lazarus Project. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. <laughs> like what? Brainwash me? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. I'm glad he was in Can't charge. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. I'm fine with Tell you. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Hmm. Where'd you train? Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. And I wanted more than a resume. I was trying resume. to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Hmm. Well, guess that's it. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Those colonists need my help. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Hmm. I trust you enough. You kind of protested, Wilson. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Thoughts on the Do you know mission? anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Jacob and the Alliance. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and so rules. So kind of, sort of, Alliance still enough red specters. tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. And Jacob joining Why did Cerberus? You join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. 
We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. I wonder what we'll think what things will be like. Ooh, this is gonna be different. Shepard escaped the facility alongside operatives Taylor and Lawson. Facility destroyed by remote detonation. Salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data are survived. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. You've received the following bonuses for importing a level 55 character into Mass Effect 2. 3,500 experiences. Experience start at level 4. Uh, about 146,000 credits. 9,000 element zero, iridium, palladium, and platinum, 190 paragon, and three renegade. <laughs> Lol. Rapid fired grenade launcher. And uh, found some funding. Alright, this feels like it's going to be different be shortly, than the elusive man normal. Under your command. Do you Mass have Effect any 1. Other colonies. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Hmm. Odds of success. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the Wonder scene. if some alliance are going to show up and be like, who are, who, who, are you Shepherd? sure you'll be How? comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. Miranda the elusive did. man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Alright. Someone could still be alive. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Our first goal, make sure that this isn't an outlier and that there are no survivors. Then we begin sweeping for any signs of... Well, while we're also looking for signs of life, we look for signs of what hell, what the hell happened. Can I finally move my things? I can! Oh, and it automatically put things up there. Interesting. Warp rends enemies apart. Oh. Wait, I have two. Uh, my sniper, my sniper. Can I look at a map? Doesn't look like there's a map. Yes, yes, I know I have. This definitely feels different. Is that stairs or nothing? I don't like the noise. Whoever's behind all this better hope that none of my crew gets abducted. Because I am not nice to people who screw with my Looks crew. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Definitely better graphic feeling. The level design feels more... Maybe that's why this is more linear so far. Better level design. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. None yet. What even is this? No door. Maybe it's deactivated? Spare parts. Salvage. Strange. Security systems were colonies. Maybe they know I'm here. Shoot them before they take out your shield. Taking cover! Incoming! Stun 
mech shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Well, would you look at that? Something's different. I don't like the moaning wind. First things first, med kit, metagel, wall safe. Highlight individual nodes to matching symbols. When you found two matching lock matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete it before your time runs out to bypass. I should have saved. Start bypass. All right, let's try again. Interesting. Better than the last one. I prefer that to the circle game. We've been spotted. So far, a better mini game. I can take that. I always like good mini games. What the hell? Stop right there! Franta, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Tally, what are you doing here? Shepard, is that... you're alive? I'll prove it's really me. Remember when I gave you that get data, Tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Franta, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? They brought me back from I, the dead. No. Maybe we should ask. Didn't have a choice. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. I'm you not just seen one Shepherd soldier. In action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young Quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Hmm. Why did Vitor come Isn't here? Isn't a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his Sud CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Hmm. We need to hand team up. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? We're working no, with Commander Shepard. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Hmm. Uh, why do you hate Cerberus? I don't know. Look at everything I experienced in the last game. Sounds like a plan. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Kind of goes- Eleven Paragon! Yes. And kind of goes to show... This is an, ob an abnormal Be one. Careful, There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. I need to be conservative with my ammo. Hostiles! Firing now! What? Hiding behind the counter like a little bitch. You 
Use overload on them. Impressive. There we go. <laughs> Rockets. I miss my, my, my radar. Shepard, Thraza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Probably not. Probably gonna have to fight the quarry and mercenaries that Want to get to Vito first? Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. <laughs> you said your henchmen. You got it. Moving to cover. Take I point, love that. Shepherd. We'll cover the door. Send your henchmen. Why? They're fighting like me. That won't work for them. I. They put a lot more into this game, and I love it. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Overload. Overload will take out their shield. Why you leave the combat to me? Quick power cell. Feel sorry for the mercenaries a little bit. Dang it. Much more engaging minigame. Hope Tally's okay. This looks interesting. I do not come all this way just to lose Tally. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded Shepherd. He's probably oh. somewhere in the back of the loathing bay. All right. Onwards we go. I wonder why they chose to like so heavily revamp everything. Monsters coming back. Mex will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. What swarms, Vitor? Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. 
Monsters coming. Have to hide. You're safe Nobody's now. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms right mouse coming. perform. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Okay, good. Right mouse button in the lower right hand corner. Gotcha. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? We came after. Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We weren't here. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must Geth. have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? There's, that looks like Geth soldiers. God. I think it's a collector. What's a collector? Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. I swear, they look like Geth. involved with the Reapers somehow. It could explain what happened to the colonies. At least from the Collectors distance, have advanced they look like Geth. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. How did you escape, Vitor? Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. They are Already only here for technology humans. technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human yeah. colonies have been hit. Swarms. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. And the collectors themselves. More about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Go on, Vidor. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Thank you, Vitor. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. I trust Tally. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You should join us, Tally. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even uh, for you. Fair enough. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. What's the mission? That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That is important. That should tell you how important, Very important. it is. Well, Vitor goes of Tally. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. I will always work with my previous crew. Right now, working with Cerberus is a beneficial as beneficial Shepherd, relationship. Good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. 
You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Having friends pays off. Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. That's why but you need me. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. You don't seem surprised. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They I find it interesting that we're in the, the elusive man's realm during these conversations. Or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Omega-4 relay? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. The Protheans could manipulate the Relays a little bit with the Conduit, so it's not a 100% thing. Interest in humans. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? They'll probably need them alive. Not everybody can spend billions of credits reviving people. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. And then, what aren't you telling You're me? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Hmm. I can't do it alone. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Hmm. I decide who's on my team. Miranda and Jacob aren't enough? How many do you need to keep me in check? I've made it clear to Miranda and Jacob that you're in charge. You decide who joins your squad. Everyone else on this list was chosen specifically for this mission. They're the best. I hope so. I'll do the best I can with what you've given me. I'm sure you will. Before you go, two things. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. And the second thing? Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's Joker. one of the best. Joker. Give me Joker. Someone you can trust. Joker, you're Joaquin! Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. And Look you're walking. talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. <laughs> but they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. New ship? They only told me last night. Normandy 2. Oh, it's the old girl. Back again. Not SR1, but SR2. The Normandy 2. <laughs> Hell yeah. See, elusive man. This is how you win me over.
How you get me on your Let's side. Get me home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Can I, do I get to choose? I would love to choose a name. <laughs> but at the same time, you can't beat a classic. Now this... This is a glorious start. I have Joker. I have the Normandy. Now things are looking really good. Experience. Gained 1,000. Level 6 earned. Squad points gained 2. Collectors confirmed as source of attack. <laughs> I should try to do is like, Collectors confirmed as source of attacks on Freedom's progress. Corian survivor Vitor returned with Tali Zorel uh, to the migrant fleet. We'll examine his Omni tool for anything useful. You must re recruit a head scientist to build this upgrade. Heavy weapon upgrade. 15% uh, weapon capacity. Yes, I want more sniper. The power cell technology used by heavy weapons is fairly old, but can be improved by rebuilding the core with more modern components. These improvements allow standard power cells to yield more shots per power cell and allow for more total shots to be fired. Cerberus funding, 10,000. Credits found, 10,000, so 20,000 credits and 2,000 Iridium. I probably won't head on out to any more missions because I'm paranoid just yet. But I'm gonna walk. <laughs> Nice to see you, Joker. Nice to see the Normandy back in action. Little bit silly that they destroy it, only give a replacement goldfish, but hey. It's a good goldfish. Granted, it's all in Cerberus colors, but for now, I'll accept it. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know Definitely the collectors sounds use like some it. type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Good point. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most EDI. logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. This could come in handy. Having an AI in charge of the Normandy system should give us an advantage. Actually, I am not in control of the ship, Commander. Due to the potential dangers of a rogue AI, Cerberus has severely restricted my capabilities. Uh, come on, I trust During you. You're combat, basically the Normandy. I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. <laughs> Anyone else they should missing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Thank you, Jacob. Galaxy map. Use the galaxy map to pick a new destination for the Normandy. Private terminal. Use your private terminal to get status updates on your squad. Ooh, I might like that. Armory. Select weapons for your squad from the armory. Seems like they're definitely stream... They probably looked at people annoyed at the inventory system. From Mass Effect 1, so they're like, fine. We'll just completely overhaul it. So this feels less RPG-y and more mon Monster Hunter-y to a degree. Tech Lab, acquiring the professor research upgrades for your squad's equipment. And hey, we're gonna get a Solarian on the team. Assemble a team using the use of man's dossiers. Assemble a team of experts to fight the collector. Meet the Zahid Massini. Travel to Omega to infamous mercenary Zahid Massani. 
Travel to Zakura Ward on the Citadel and input password Silence is Golden at Kazumi's. Travel to Akkara on Madagva and explore a crash ride of SSV Normandy. Travel to Ziona, at least about, in the search for Hammerhead prototype vehicle. Uh, with elaborate secrecy, Cerberus labored for years to build a new superior Normandy. Oh, that's a... Check the status of your team. Oh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten others. Dazier the veteran, Zahid Masani. The combat survival tactics protection. Zahid has stopped taking work recently, but he was last seen on Omega. His reputation as the premier bounty hunter in the galaxy has caught up with him, and he's rumored to spend his days drinking and shooting would-be rivals. There is none better in the fight. The Professor. Biological weapons expert, lied weapons training of Solarian Special Task Group. Dr. Morden Solis is a Solarian biological weapons expert whose technology may hold the key to countering collector attacks. He's currently operating on a medical clinic on the slums of Omega. Archangel. Small unit tactical expertise, Omni Tool expert, and noted sniper. Archangel is a mercenary commander, uh, yeah, commander, whose operations are noted for their technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He is responsible for high profile attacks on gang leaders on Omega and can likely be found there. The Warlord, Dr. O'Keir. Millennia of combat and strategic experience, rumored familiarity with the Collector technology. A brilliant, brutal Krogan Warlord and Krogan Rebellion's veteran. O'Keir is obsessed with saving the Krogan from the Genophage. It appears he contacted the Collectors to gain the necessary technology, currently at a Blue Suns camp on Corlos. His relationship with the mercenaries is unknown. Dossier, the Convict. Jack, no last name. Exceptional biotic ability. Note criminal background. Currently in custody. Jack is rumored to be the most powerful human biotic. Little else is known. But the subject is in the history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held on the Turian prison ship Purgatory. Cerberus has negotiated for the subject's release. Dossier, the Master Thief, Kasumi. Sabotage, infiltration, extraction, property acquisition, stealth, agile, agile combat. The subject has stolen extremely valuable resources from Cerberus in the past. Alarm systems, DNA encoders, guards, and various other deterrents were bypassed, and we don't know how. She was last seen on the Citadel. Upgrades. I just need a scientist. Messages from Anderson. On the off chance the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've uh, been hearing. Deal struck with Zahid. Oh, mark is red. Shepard. Uh, Shepard, we've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zahid Masani. You may know the name. Zahid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills. Your mission, uh, well, on your mission. So I arranged to have him join you. You'll find him on Omega where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that. Lost contact with survey ship. Pro from Project Firewalker. Commander, BMSV Rosali, a survey ship of the service connections, has gone missing. The team, the survey team, was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Emmanuel Case and Dr. Robert O'Loy are aboard the MSV Rosali and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctors. His last seen near Planet Ziona. Normandy crash site. Ah, oh, from Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, our scans in the, Nor Ama uh, in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument, to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. Recon Hood. Shepard, it occurred to our armor technicians that you might not want to show your face everywhere you go. 
They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives. It has additional microframe functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. From the elusive man, Shepard. One of our cells has just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology, and I need you to investigate. Their tech, their work is extremely compartmentalized, enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on Planet Ite, Typhon System, and the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care. Arc Projector. Shepard. We recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against a Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an Arc Projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it if you, for yourself, bleh, for yourself, and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicated Overlord's connected barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well. But laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitution for actual field reports. We know it works. Now we want to see what it can do on the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operatives. Shepard. At great cost and effort, we've tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakara Ward on the Citadel. There you'll find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. And put the password Silence is Golden to begin rendezvous. Stanwick Dobbs, Banking Agent, Ascension Financial Services, Earth. Hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administrative fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of... Uh, 100,000 credits? Thank you for banking with Ascension Finance. I love that. I love that. It's like, <laughs> they actually went through... Archive messages, but... Interesting here. Seems to be Quarian, Salarian, Turian, or Krogan. They have that kind of collar to them. Welcome aboard, Commander. Chambers. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. The pleasure is mine. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Sure. Okay, Kelly. I like to accommodate. Anything else? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Hmm, let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Hmm. Are you happy here? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. Those are the but right emotions I feel to feel. Encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Hmm. I'd catch you. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Hmm. What do you think of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Does Cerberus hate aliens? Sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. <laughs> I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. What about the Elcor? With Cerberus ideals. Hmm. You're very loving. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Uh, 
I'm just rise of the alliance. I'm getting a lot of codexes. Trolls. I got more Paragon! Ah, I can talk to EDI, Eddie. Yes, Shepard. Hmm. What is this room? What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. <laughs> Tell me about Cerberus. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Hmm. Building the Normandy. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Hmm. A block? What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Hmm. Resources. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Blocked. I have a block <laughs> that prevents me from answering that question. Hmm. Structure. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task Wow, a question cells. that's actually answered. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Hmm. How many cells are well, there? How many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have Blocked. a block that prevents <laughs> me from answering that question. Another topic. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Let's talk about you. More about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Hmm. You and Joker. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Morag does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> I love Joker. Your name. Why are you named Edie? <laughs> Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E D I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Your location. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. All right, your job. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. <laughs> Hmm. What monitoring device? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. And cyber, cyber warfare. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Does that mean or we're going to have to ship to ship, systems, to ship combat? I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields. Or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. That's impressive. Sounds incredibly useful. Why is there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> and additional functions? Restricted functions. Like what? <laughs> it's restricted. I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. <laughs> it sounds like a game mechanic. All right. Uh, goodbye. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! You can actually turn suits. around! Military <laughs> may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. <laughs> I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> ship cancer?! We can trust them for now. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite. You have no choice. Choice ever. <laughs> Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, I'll save that for the off-hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24-7. Jerks. <laughs> Jerks. 
So far, I am loving this. So far, loving this. So far, kind of enjoying the upgrades and changes. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. How dare you? I am the captain. I am Captain Commander. Oh, we can talk here. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Thank you. Let's see. I have two options for grenade launcher. Or arc projector. I think I'm going to try arc projector. The arc projector ionizes targets with a non-visible laser to uh, to ready them for a high voltage electrical attack. I'm gonna I'm gonna try you. What about you? Nope. Briefing calm room. Ah, Jacob. Looking over all our guns, I see. Man, wish I could use a normal assault rifle. That was my fallback. No, I, well, then again, I do have a submachine gun. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's Glad a privilege you think to so. serve on the Normandy, Commander. Hmm. It's a risky assignment. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. <laughs> Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions. I'm liking you by the past. moment, Jacob. Jacob, I'm what liking you by the moment. Make you nervous. A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. I know that. Got Thorian creepers, Rachni. The they killed Kohaku. But if the threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. <laughs> Glad to have you aboard. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. I love working with good people. Let me guess. Ah, uh -huh. good. It's all connected. What's this room? What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement <laughs> communicator. Quantum entanglement the communicator. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. That sounds useful. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. <laughs> uh, quantum what? <laughs> I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. Ah, so it's mystery. When one particle occupies a given quantum, quantum thingies. state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Interesting. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Definitely neat. So we're able to send quantum ones and zeros. But I think I've heard of the arc diddly do. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you for telling me. You lied to me. You've received a new message. I look. There's nothing. How dare. Take me to the captain's cabin. I want to check and see what's here. Ah, uh, get a room all to myself. And it's better than... I have an aquarium! But where's the fish? Medal of Honor. <laughs> you can actually look. Save your crew from an overwhelming attack. Return to active duty. Defend a human colony from attack. Complete investigation. Use the Omega-4. Sur... Suicide mission. Oh boy, I, I think I can lose crew there. Keep your... I can lose my crew there! <laughs> I probably shouldn't look at the achievements even further. I guess I'm losing. <laughs> kind of 
bike, but at the same time, it might be casual. Don't want to be too casual, but... Eh, I, I'm old-fashioned. Recon hood. A hood issue to covert actions. This model's optic display interfaces with most small arms automatic. Da -da -da. So does this actually... Increases weapon damage by 5. Increases health. Increases health. None. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Hey, I have an actual bed this time. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. I actually have good it's quarters this time. It's larger the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, <laughs> not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hull. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Interesting. But yeah, they definitely upped things in this game, and so far I'm liking it. It'll depend how exploration is handled and stuff, I would say. Women's restroom, so I'm not gonna go in there. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. Hmm. Interesting. Even though there's multiple. I guess it, I guess it is kind of makes sense. Life Access support. to life support is restricted. But I want to see where the life is held. Ah, oh, they even made this again. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. Crewman oh, Hawthorne. Sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. <laughs> Real nice, Mr. Gardner. Hello, Chef. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Need anything? You have everything you need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. How can I help? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. <laughs> You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give me the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Pambies. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Hmm. Responsibility. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? <laughs> Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. Janitor and cook. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. <laughs> I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> Thoughts on Cerberus? How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. And finally, joining. How How'd did you, you find join? your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that <laughs> plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I like you I so far. I won't take any more of your time. 
Back to work. So far, he seems like a good guy. Miranda has put her office squarely where my office used to be. I feel like that's uh, an intentional slam. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Ah, I can be a gunnery. I have lots of guns. I've used lots of guns. What's this area of the ship? Chakwa! It is equipped to provide short-term She's here! Care. She's alive! A critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Hey, Chakwa's. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Good to see you. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Need anything? You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. <laughs> I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll get you I'll another. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Leaving the Alliance. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. <laughs> you need to fly? Colonial military life isn't for you. I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. <laughs> Joining You're Cerberus. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you, on a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Most definitely. If Cerberus asks me to do anything like they were doing in the first game, they'll definitely have a piece of my There's mind. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. Well, no technically regrets. I didn't survive that. I'd like to make sure the crew I don't really think respawning is counts as surviving. Later. Commander. But really, we need more aliens. That's my prognosis. It's not the same without a few aliens running about. All right, Miranda. Got anything to say? Commander, what can I do for you? Hmm. Normandy status. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Hmm. And what do you do here? What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that... I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. And finally, can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. You killed if Kohaku. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Cerberus goals. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The you know, at the cost of a few group. soldiers the to have their legendary commanders for stealth and recon Diddly operations. Maws, Cerberus is humanity's answer Thorian to those organizations. Thorian creepers throwing a bloody goddamn rear admiral in with some grackney because he got onto you. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. What is Cerberus? Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. I wonder if I... uh... spared... 
the Cerberus team that was locked in by husks, I think it was. I wonder if I'd be able to... Oh no, that was the Thorian Creeper. Yeah, that was the Thorian Creeper mission. I wonder if it would have been possible to run into her again. But at the same time, she was a sociopath who didn't want to serve her time for fucking throwing people to the Creepers, so I don't care. Cerberus resources. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Well, I mean, I did save the galaxy that one time. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. I am. Whatever else well, people might say about Spectre. him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. Hmm. What makes you think so? How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Hmm. I want to know about you. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. Harsh. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Hmm. You're genetically modified. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Hmm. So you're perfect. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. Like shooting And when Wilson. I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Well, I'm not going to say that because I'm not me. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. I still don't trust her fully. I like that they kind of kept the core design, but expanded it. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, she'll be a year old next month. Death oh, flag. You'll miss her first birthday. Family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Hmm, so maybe not death flag explicitly. All right, gonna head down to engineering just to see. Ooh, what if the engineering guy was here? I don't think he died. Uh, unlock 15, new diddly Drop shuttle. Hmm. Definitely feels bigger than the last Normandy. Engineering subject, port cargo hold. Eh, doesn't let me go there. Oh, 80. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to reorient oh, I can't do my little dance. Oh, never mind, I kind of can. Shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land a ship on high gravity worlds. And then what's that one? Ah, just ah, two carbo cargo holds. Donnelly and Daniels. You came all the way down here to see us? Yeah. You're speaking to our commanding officer. <laughs> Hello. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella <laughs> Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Need anything. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth. You're complaining. What's the issue? What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. 
I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Hmm. Why don't we Why have isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Hmm. Your training. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Hmm. But, but you left the Alliance. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Hmm. Ken joining Cerberus. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Thank you for your defense. What about you, so why Gabby? Why you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Also, I love <laughs> engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. And finally, feelings on Cerberus. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. That seems to be normal. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Well, thank you very much. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. <laughs> I told you he would. Well, my opinion of the Alliance is shifting harshly there. Here I thought I would be a nice, happy man. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Aha! Mass Effect! Roll credits! The Council and the Alliance are... You know what? I'm actually sliding to... Respecting Cerberus a bit more. The Alliance tore apart what I said, even though I was plumb right on every count when it comes to Saren, the Reapers, and everything. Oh, they uh, bastards, a lot of them. But, I do believe that will be it for now. I'm going to get second operative, because I think that's more important overall. And check journal quickly. I have a lot of assignments. That we can check out later. Overall, stop the collectors. We need to assemble a team. While they were never completely supported before, it may still be worth contacting the council and informing them of recent events. So I'll probably go to the Citadel. Alright. I was going to end here, but I'm going to see what happens if I go to the Citadel. I can also grab some people there. And then we'll head to Omega. I don't want to go there. What's that? Kairavamori. Fuel Depot. Oh. Oh, I can fucking fly. Enter orbit. Start smooth. If we're closer to Sara Beric, Bender would have an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane in the deep cold of the outer solar system, however, both elements have long since frozen to the ground. Start scanner. Where's 
this one. I felt like there was... Away. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. I wonder how many probes we can have per world. Ooh. Launching probe. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Basically, I don't want to launch any probes unless it's, like, super telling me, hey, this is good. Oh, come on. I want to head back out so I can explore more. I'm going to head to various planets, because why not? realize you could uh launching probe Probe. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. So you can spend a lot of probes. Lots of resources, though. Costs me quite a few probes, though. Got a ton of element zero from past work. Probe away. We have a lot of palladium. Probe away. Still trying to learn how things go. Wonder if I'll have to requisition more probes. Fathar. Ah, we've explored this place 100%, so there's different places. Guess we'll head to the mass relay. Interesting. But there is a lot here. So I should probably do things here before we do 
anything else. I'm gonna save before I head to that fuel depot. See if there's anything we can get there, since it's just a... Oh, I can buy fuel and probes. Interesting. Buy probes. I have the money for it. So it seems mostly... I guess let's head to Omega. Built on the mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been the haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. At times, the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space station's original, elegant design has given way to a haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species. There is no central government or unifying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall a time where there ever was one. So here I'll be looking for couplings for engineering, as well as the various other things. I think two people are on Omega, the scientist and then a bounty hunter. But yeah, we're looking for couplings, bounty hunter, there's quite a few things that were listed here. Better operative. Officer. Go with that. Surprise, criminals. It me. Hi. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Ha. Ah. Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... It's a Batarian. Fargate, now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Who are you? Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know and hello. Who I am. Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria Interesting. wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife <laughs> now and present yourself. Hmm. Relax. Got the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, <laughs> Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Fair enough. Afterlife, now. Can't blame him. Things do explode around me. I've received warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. All right. Ooh, it's an actual map now. We'll go to the head to transport. Oh, I can't put things down. Oh well. So we we'll want to go left, and then up to talk to Arya, I guess. Let's see if we can. Let's see, journal. But yeah, Archangel. They're here too. FBA complains, and they could be found on Omega. <laughs> Adam, I'm looking for Ice Brandy. Overlord. Has gone off the grid. Project Firewalker, normal crash night. Okay. So, three recruitments, potentially, and couplings. Well, we found you easy. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. How much do you know? I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. 
Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. Hmm. Who is your friend? The contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. Hmm. What's next for What's him? What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. Hmm. You and Cerberus. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. Interesting. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. All right. Welcome aboard. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. Hmm. No, he didn't. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. <laughs> Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Fido Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. Hmm. We can do that. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. <laughs> I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. I wonder where Rex is. That's my question. View of Omega. And I got Paragon Omega. for that. What a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Interesting to see Batarians not trying to kill me. Funnily enough, I just realized they only happened in what I think was called a DLC mission. <laughs> Come Enough on, for. let me in. Ari's expecting me. Oh, annoying. If she were expecting you, you'd be expecting me. <laughs> nice to have the Alcor still around, being my favorite species. Kyla. What are you looking at? Careful, don't you man. have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... Fine. No. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. I got Paragon for walking up to a guy and him hating it. Yeah, that seems to be most of my time in this game. Well, we upgraded the strippers. Basically, your kid. You wanted to talk to me. That's close enough. You really want to start a firefight here? <laughs> Just nods her head. Stand still. Hmm, what's the scan for? If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. <laughs> that could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I just read the dossier on this place. Nobody has a clean rule of this place. I am Omega. Never mind. She has a god complex. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're 
feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Power. Don't fuck with Arya. Hmm. Simple enough. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? Hmm. Archangel. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? No. I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. Explain. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Hmm. What groups are after? Which Merc groups are after our game? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Hmm. I need info on what Archangel. Can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. Seems like my guy. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc group are after? Unless they're at war, you'll never see them. What about you? Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate. But I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. Hmm. Thanks. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. And finally, uh, well, I'm finally. For Solis. You know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to hmm. shoot you. You know him? What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just nice to have a Solarian on the team he for once. Shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Hmm. Indifference about me. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Still can. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Hmm. Omega so, itself. You must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. And you yourself. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Fair enough. Kind of funny that Short she stands answer, up. Mind your own damn business. Well, go, go, get to minding it then. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Huh, Anto. You got a name. You wanna talk? Talk to Aria. down. That was not interaction.
talk to the Merc recruiters. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? How about a specter? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? <laughs> Looking for Archangel. Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. Right. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood. I like how they're you actually going through legal jargon. Period. Any questions? Hmm. Why Archangel? It seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. Fair enough. He's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. Hmm. We're on his turf. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. <laughs> Plan of attack. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. <laughs> distract? So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. Fine. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? I could. Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? Nope, he just step foot here. everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Tarek? Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. And finally, location. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Ready to go. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? Hmm. How old are you? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. <laughs> hey, Woody! Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Give him 500 credits. He looks so sad that I broke his toy! So far, I am liking how things are being handled. Oh wait, I was going to see if I could walk past into lower afterlife. Ah, well, we can go there the other way. We'll wander around a bit. But before we head to the transport depot to help Archangel. Come on, let me in. Hmm. Apex Omni Tool. Apartments, Marketplace, Lower Sector. That's plain. Mad profit, huh? And end is not. You are flight from galactic security. You sir, you are a flight. That's hilarious. And you, you and you aid a transport. Protheans cast off the lesser races. The Krog, the Forge. The Protheans didn't do anything. So let's get by and if we can. Oh, Herod. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. He has what a cigar! Can I get for you? What do you have? What things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. <laughs> Friendly. 
mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere With pride, on the station. I love the Elcor. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk. Washi Visor. Developed by da -da -da. Increases headshot damage. <laughs> Model Geth ship. Capacitor chest plate. Hack module. Doubles the time limit for hack. Oh, that's expensive. Terminus armor. 12,000. Better gun. 5,000. Definitely take that. I'll go ahead and take a visor. I'll take a model Geth ship, because why not? Environmentally sealed. Increases storm speed. Storm speed. I have the money to spare. I'll clear you out. <laughs> to view personalization items. There's a photo mode. Neat. I might have something here for humans. Not much. <laughs> Convince me to shop. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. Where is I'd this? I'd rather deal black with market. you than give money to those thieves. Nah. <laughs> you sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone, or I'll lose my shirt. Stimulant conduits increases storm speed. Don't really care. Model tur Turian ship is so cheap. Sniper rifle damage. 50,000. Tiddle alien, alien magazine. What's this? Increases power damage and shield strength. Oh my. Okay, good. That's only 12,000. That's expensive, but it's also sniper rifle. This looks interesting. That's all I can spare for now. But thank you for your time. Now let's bounce around to Kin Salvage. Fuck are you. This place. How can these people be left to rot like... The fuck are you? Leave, human. Tell Captain Gavorn we can kill anyone today. Who is Captain Gavorn? I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? We not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. How many Vorka live there here? There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. Vorcha. Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's box get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Interesting. Ken, who are you? Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. Maybe we can cut a deal. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word if it's a heretic. No problem, of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. <laughs> Why are you what here? What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What ah. money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Hmm. Tell me about Harrod. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. Hmm. I could pay your way. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. 
This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Hmm. I'll have a talk with Harry. I could go talk to Herrick for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. After I buy things and talk to Herrit, I think I'll give it to him stuff anyway. That's too expensive. Maybe I should go talk to him first. Shepard gets 10 health. So I'll go talk to Herrit. And if worse comes to worse, well, then again, if I buy one thing from him, that should be enough for him, maybe. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. Let's what talk about I the Quarian. Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. Leave the Quarian along. Make a deal. You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained <laughs> terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation, very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory, to show there is no ill will. Damn it, I already bought I everything you from you. Discount on my own wares. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy. That's what I get for not going everywhere. And doing everything. Now you're just mocking me. Commander Shepard, he uncovered Saren's plan, defeated the Geth army, and died in the final days of the fight. Or did he? <laughs> or did he? I've already just got here. I heard you spoke to Harry. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. Hmm. Good for you. Take care of yourself. You too. He, uh, he wants to serve his uh, way off on his own. I'll help him do that. I probably should have just given him the diddly D, but he, he wants to serve his way off. That was a scream. Let's head to the lower afterlife. Lower afterlife, haha, <laughs> hell, that's why they all look like demons. better than through the clubs from the last game. No. You said he had close family. You just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. Hello. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you hmm. want? Patriarch. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor. And a trophy. War stories. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well. And was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time's done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. And Arya herself? What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. I love that the characters Arya move around died, a lot more. She had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. 
her. She killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. She tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, one of your hearts. shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. Why? What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, he was stronger. Well, I should be going. Thank you for your time. You're gonna be potentially important. Once again. More of them. You have a name, and that's a bartender. Interesting that they show reactions to condense. Not much. Interesting music, too. sound familiar. Commander Shepard? Oh. Is that you? You. I, I heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I uh, don't expect you. Once you now. started talking, you you're part of that criminal, yeah. You removed warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. Hmm. I'll never forget it. Why are you what here? What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. Well, technically I didn't tell her to straighten up. I told him to dis uh, break down the gang because it was too corrupt. Well, I have to go. Glad of to course. see you. You must have more important things to do. Need to see you all the same. Well. Well, with all that done, I think I'll go ahead and head to the Dibbity D. We didn't find any power uh, company thingies, I think. I don't think. T6 FBA couplet. Well, we'll find them one way or another. On this journey. Come on, let me in. Gonna head to the. Oh. Go ahead and save again. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorcha Task Force. Got something to report? Hmm. What are the Vorcha up to? What do you do, Tia? What's your job here exactly? Keep the Vorcha in line, keep them out of Aria's sight. That's about it. And what are they up There's to? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha, plan. <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. Well, goodbye. I'll just be going. Keep moving. Interesting. All right, Blue Sun's driver. Take me where you want to send me. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Let's go. Ready when you are. Get in. Mercenary boss has another problem. Enemies have multiple defenses. That must be stripped away. Hmm. We'll need your power. Come along. Zahid. Concussive shot. And I'll give you one more there. Go. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Not really. The recruiter was a little vague. 
We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. So our king just holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. Hmm. Sounds good. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. Hmm. The bridge. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout. Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. Hmm. Gunship? They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. <laughs> He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Infiltration Where's the team? infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. They got across How the bridge? How they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down. But they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. And finally, Archangel what do you himself. know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. <laughs> Eric and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with it for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. Fair enough. I, I better go. find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Me? I killed thousands back well, we in my time as a specter. Getting out could be interesting. One thing at a time. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Ah, this is a small. Oh, I guess once you enter a danger zone, you just get objective markers. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Definitely. I'll need to destroy that gunship then. More than anything. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? Who are you? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, free Plan of attack. So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Hmm. Eclipse. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much... Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. You seem pretty upset. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. And finally, Archangel. What do you know himself? about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. <laughs> is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Want details. Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. Message to Tarek. 
Turk have spoken to Garm, and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we already taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on to the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations would be ready to move on Arya without assistance of the other two. Arya would love to know about this. Matching code segments, locate and select code that matches the code displayed at the top left. Alright, avoid red codes, find all matches before time runs out. Uh. Oh, damn it. Oh, it changes. Okay, definitely interesting. Wasn't expecting that much. I'm asking friend or foe for the mech. Targeting parameters reconfigured. Matchet's long down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up, friend or foe. Hello there. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. Who are you? You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Archangel. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to I'm look at. I'm starting to think this you. might be Garrus. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Really? Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. Blood pack. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. Especially our Archangel. Archangel mostly just hates you. <laughs> He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks, but he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What happened? You fought him? He tried to take me down once. Uh, get this he one again. So almost had him. And finally, plan of attack. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Uh, we're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Goodbye. I should get going. About time. Gotta be careful that we don't get sniped. Even if this is Garrus, he's been going hard. Gathka? Working on the gunship. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you 
must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Who? Salki. You met him when you were dropped off. Ah, you radioed that's his to name. say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us the signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Gunship. Gunship. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Are you a mechanic? Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. Plan of attack. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. Infiltration How team? How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. Hmm. The bridge. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you coming? Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight, where a go? Check it. Bravo team, go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. That's Renegade, don't want to do it. Where did I put that Omni tool? Doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. What the hell are we waiting for? We'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Bravo Club. She's with Archangel. Damn glitches. Man, this why might be they, useful. Why do they have to go and make taking out the gunship a renegade action? Uh, my shield. Incoming. It's for medkits, apparently. I guess it's like an overflow thing. Archangel? Idiot. Poked his head out too much.
Garrus, Shepard. my boy. I thought you were dead. <laughs> it's good to see you. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. Hmm. Why Omega? What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. Hmm. Mercs. How'd you manage to piss off every major merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Archangel. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. And you you nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive of rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. <laughs> uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. And I believe you. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. <laughs> so, well, now what? We got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. We can't just sit here and wait for them to come to us. It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses. Well, the Take infiltration team, we should tell it's them about that. not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. Hmm. What happened? How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. Hmm. They won't get through. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Gunship, infiltration, tunnels. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. Ah, I thought they were going to blow up now. No renegade. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You, you can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. Man, they are making Renegade a fun yeah. prospect. What left to one. worry about? Too bad I'm a better sniper. I miss multi shot, but it's probably too powerful in this set. Man, that was generous. that. What? Ah, come on. I wanted to swap to the Arc Razor. But I guess this is a sniping segment anymore. Understandable, I guess. Oh, man. 
test. I went through his legs. Not letting me change guns. Not that one. Yes. Sit down. Dang it. God damn it, game. I'm gonna try to. Alright, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. <laughs> Your robot? Not gonna work. Go! Online! That problem should take care of itself. Got there for a second that it was on my side. Even a headshot is enough for enough for you. Until that one. Never saw me coming. Still coming this way, idiot. Send a goddamn robot after us. Wasn't enough. Then again, maybe I should have swapped to my disruptor when the shields started coming out. Hmm. The following squad members are now able to use it. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. I and try my best. We got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Tell me about Jareth. Where were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. I'm not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. Now what? We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. Gunship, but probably blood pack first. Reinforce the other side, heavily. But they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Tunnel. What the hell was that? Probably should have looked at that door. They breached the lower level. 
I probably would have been able to stop eventually. that if I went through you that door. Get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Yeah. Hmm. You need help. I didn't come all this way to let you die. We'll split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Hmm. Jacob will stay. Jacob, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. If you say so. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. I'm on it. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. I got Renegade? Why? Why did I get Renegade for that? I don't understand this game sometimes. More sniping, it looks like. Change gun. game sometimes. thing in my journal that just said shut the final two shutters all right I missed my basic grenade Not letting me move. Stupid bullshit. It wouldn't let me move for majority of that. That was stupid. Oh yeah, enemies behind a corner that I can't really shoot. Speaking of that, part of me kind of wants to go back and redo choices. Feels like, Ugh. damn it, that's way too far back. What do you want, freelancer? I don't want excuses. Falcat's gotta get that gunship working. Or he'll be next over that bridge. Get this freelancer. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> I just Calm have down. a few questions about the operation. Might as well. Get, John. get this scum out of my face. Tarek, what seed in your ass? Zaid. <laughs> you know I take him? it you two are acquainted? We've crossed paths a few times. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a good and mad man? It's Archangel. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Saeed. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible. 
Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. <laughs> what can I do for you? Plan of attack. What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. Hmm, so he just waits. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. Blue Suns. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name We also broker deals between factions. How did Archangel get the Blue Suns so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? <laughs> will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. And Archangel. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Sounds pretty. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guess is every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get Good going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Count. Grom's blood pack better wait for my signal. Says I can bypass this. I can do it again. Anything good in here? Now what's this? Oh yeah, I'm keeping this. Need to be a bit more careful with my saves and stuff. Kind of wish I could just mess with this, but it's a renegade only option. Kafka? Salky? You, you, you got any questions? This may be a Are you gonna give us cover? A few more tweaks. So I'm very annoyed that the only way to get rid of this is a uh, renegade option. Watching that. How will the infiltration be? If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll so the bridge is the only Feels a bit weird. Damn job. Target. Our, uh, gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. Not renegade, I am Paragon. I'm not Omni tool. But I'm gonna keep this because I did want to go through that door. It doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. What the hell are we waiting for? And this time I'll try to do better, because I wonder what the renegade part of that was. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Charge him up! He's with Archangel! This should come in handy. Just gotta grab all these upgrades. Gotta get all this money. But it's nice to see Garrus again. Though this does feel a bit vigilante like compared to. But maybe he's. There would be more civilian casualty. If I didn't moralize him a bit. Archangel? It's good to yes. see you. Just you keeping doing? my skip in better, but killing mercs is hard work. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. How'd you manage? I am amazed that they teamed up to fuck. Since Just when did you <laughs> I don't mind. You nailed because of rent. If I... 
But no, it won't. But they'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. We can't just. It's not all that bad. This place, I, it's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let I'll, yourself? I'll make you a deal. You give me a. Let's get up. out of here. Let's see what they're up to. Take a look. Not gonna renegade this. Wonder why it's considered renegade. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You, you can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Indeed. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. I still do miss my old grenades. Oh, nice trip. There we go. Considered snipers. Medic ain't gonna help you here. Wow, that was an Asari commando. Ignite. I thought that was infinite. Maybe it is, and it just took a bit to respawn. Come on over. Your screams amuse me. I wonder if he still has the one I gave him all those the uh, two years ago. Yes. Sounds like you're enjoying the killing quite a bit. It was a bit of a fun time. That's fine. All right, let's see how you handle this. That luckily should take care of itself. Yeah. So we already hacked you.
get that Asari Commando down. Hit the fucking barricade. Do not like shielded enemies. A little too tanky for my taste. Riding this many mercs in there. Impressive, really. Without a shield, then again, you did tank a freaking sniper to the head. Hey, you can even save in combat now. Kicking it, and I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Tell me about him. What were you at? He's, I, not surprised he decided to work with We've the still other. got blood. Maybe, pack. but they're not coming. What the hell was that? Well, they had to use their brains eventually. I'm not leaving alone. You'd better get down there, Shepard. Let's split up two and two. You sure? Who knows what you'll find? Hmm. Jacob will Jacob, say. You say so. Thanks, Shepard. If I could get renegade, you better get going. How I'll do I get to go down? I'll radio. Good luck. Let's see what points I get this time. Five Paragon. That's an odd thing. They said the same thing. But I... Hmm. Weird. I consider that very weird. I don't quite like that decision. They're gonna say the same thing, and they kind of mean the same thing. But we're gonna have it actually mean Renegade or Diddly D. Down, boy. Jacob is keeping my boy safe. I did not come this far to lose Garrus. And I'm not going to lose Garrus. Good 
good shot. I was aiming for that. wish that there would be better, like, maneuverability. Because I was trying to go to the left, and I was like, oh, sorry, you can't go to the left. Then I look, and there's nothing to the left, and it's weird. Lost <clears throat> The shreds. Low. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Hello. Man's down. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. Like a shopper. Son of a bitch. You knew Garm? You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Hmm. Should we go? Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Get your head down! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. Offloading troops. Watch your back. Who's next? Come on. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Shame. Talk to her. The repelling down the side wall, ground floor. Try your best. Don't succeed. If I run beside a wall, it does not me. They've reached the rear stairs. Hit him down. Did it just buffer my shot? Running hot! No one gets up these stairs. Now the gunship. The game better not be telling me, oh, you have to do Renegade or Garrus dies. I will reload. A thousand coming. What? Why is nothing hitting, game? Garrus better not be dead. I will get pissed at that. I hate the uh, stagger mechanic they added to this game. Garrus. Once again, I will go renegade for Garrus. That once. Garrus, please get up. you out of here, Garrus. Just Don't you dare on. kill Garrus. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Once again, I... Alright, so it seems that he survived. Tech damage. Yeah, I must recruit a scientist. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The docs corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Thank God Nobody you're good. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? <laughs> no worse than usual, buddy. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. 
Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. <laughs> a fair shot at it. Love you, Garrus. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? You've got my back. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. <laughs> Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Glad to have you, buddy. What's this area of the ship? We already been through this. this. Is the in addition, this allows lag free communication even That's when you're fogging you out, Shepard. Oh, uh, but I should probably end things off. Especially because my eye is still killing me. I'll we'll make sure to talk to everyone afterwards, but hey, Garrus is alive. <laughs> like, when I saw his body and it wasn't moving, I was just like, game, I will reload and do a full-on renegade to save Garrus. Especially, mainly because I find it shenanigans. Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, you need enough of either intimidation or charm to be able to save Rex back on Vermeer. It's a complete another to be like, hey, you want to go uh, Paragon? We'll screw you. Oh, I didn't save over that again, so that don't have to worry. But yeah. Ooh, I'm loving Mass Effect 2. It feels a bit different. I hate the stagger of, oh, you got hit by a certain attack, so now you staggered and can't move. I hate that. I'm intrigued by the difference of, uh, like, weapons and armor and stuff, and acquisition of things. Though a part of me is uh, wondering why we couldn't get the couplings there. Unless the couplings were... I don't know. Eh. Uh... But yes, but yes, but yes. Still having lots of fun with this. Can't wait to see what Mass Effect 2 has else in store. Glad that Garrus, we got Garrus and that he's alive. Whew. Ah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, and an archive channel where all these streams end up called Neon Icy Games. And if you're already one of those people watching the archives, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. If you want more from me, I have try to upload art that I do to Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time as we continue our journey in Mass Effect 2. Bye-bye. Thank you.